Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. So, again, thanks everyone uh, who joined our uh, sessions. I hope you liked the breakouts. Uh, I participated maybe in six breakout sessions. All of them were awesome with a lot of discussions. We will have a closing uh, session with some follow-ups. But before that, uh, the idea was to have a session of Ignite Talks. And uh, the idea for this Ignite Talks is actually to just, again, share any kind of experiences and uh, to chat a lot. Um, so uh, have you already seen uh, the agenda for Ignite Talks? OK, then I'll screen share. Just a second, I need to. Uh, to close a few tabs so that I see something in my tabs. Um, okay. So we are recording anyway, right? Uh, so I'm sharing my screen, do you see it? Uh, so before we start, one of the things I want uh, to say that uh, yeah, we have a feedback form so if you haven't uh, seen the link yet, uh, again, kind of reminder, feedback is welcome. And uh, yeah, this time, uh, Claudius sponsors t-shirts. So if you want a special t-shirt like that, uh, you can uh, just uh, submit feedback and that's all you need to do. And yeah, uh, let's continue with um, actually Unite Talks. So what we have on the list. So the current idea that uh, we will basically go through the list. And if you have some ideas, then uh, please just put them in the bottom of the list. So we will be continuing them until we either run out of time or out, out of sessions. And uh, yeah, what we have next, uh, first, a uh, Twitter as code, uh, application for life and data science with Ones, hash sheet, uh, Git credentials. Is hash sheet here? Yes. Uh, yeah. Then, then we have a session about uh, inclusive naming. Uh, Angelic is not here, but uh, I will briefly pitch it. So it's uh, the topic we were unable to do. Then celebrating contributions and uh, highlighting contributors and launching uh, Jenkins Francophone again if you just have time, because why not? Okay. And again, if you have ideas, just put them here. Uh, so this one is a rather fun event. That's something. Uh, so I will use it uh, only if uh, nobody wants to present anything more useful. So first of all, Twitter uh, as code. Who did participate in our uh, session uh, yesterday? Uh, we were doing a uh, bit of feeder together with Mark. Did everyone participate? Okay. Do you like uh, memes and joke? So good news that if you like them, we have a special uh, Twitter account for you now. This uh, Twitter account uh, is called uh, um, Memkins. It was created a while ago. Um, and what we have here, yeah, nice logo, of course, uh, inspired by Memonetus. And uh, well, when it finally loads, because I'm not sure what happens, you will see a lot of images. Uh, okay, yeah, so something like that. Some memes are related uh, to Jenkins, some are not. Here's, for example, uh, our slide from a presentation with Mark, uh, because why not? It's definitely something about memes. Uh, well, and yeah, like that. And uh, for example, yesterday when I, I was doing a uh, I posted uh, this uh, tweet, and actually what I wanted to show it's of course not a MEMS channel, but how it actually works under the hood, because it's actually Twitter as code, at least uh, for some posts. Uh, so there is a repository called uh, Jenkins CI Meminators, or oh, sorry, Memkins. And this is a repository actually powered by GitHub Actions. And this repository uh, uses Twitter together. So it's a standard GitHub action created for posting Twitter. Um, uh, it was created by one of GitLab, uh, sorry, GitHub employees. It works pretty well. Uh, and I was experimenting. Uh, we started to, for making all uh, Jenkins Twitter accounts managed by code. And I still intend to do that. But yeah, I needed a playground, hence Memkins. And yeah, so if you're interested how it looks like, uh, so there is some pull request template, etc. 
and uh, there is also a pipeline which basically does two type, uh, things. Firstly, it allows doing previews in when you create pull requests. And secondly, it uh, allows tweeting when you actually do something uh, more useful and you can see that uh, it accesses uh, Twitter as a app. So you need to register it, but after that you can use it as a, an action. And here, for example, uh, yeah, well, basically it's all we have in this repository and uh, this is tweets. So this, for example, what I created uh, 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 last time, hello world, uh, memes are coming. And uh, yeah, just a link to the repository. So there are some limitations right now. It supports only open graph. You can embed the images, which is a kind of fatal flaws for memkins. Uh, so I wanted to actually combine it with, uh, there is another um, tool which can generate memes uh, from some text and the images. So I wanted to create a GitHub action for them and create a chain. So we define mem as code and then it generates image and posts the image. Uh, but I haven't got to that yet, so maybe it will be a topic for my break in the coming weeks because yeah, I'm taking a break from the Jenkins community and I will definitely do something awkward like that. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Uh, so let's actually see how it works in practice. Does anyone want to post something? Okay, so how it works. You as contributor, we can create new file. Actually, it's not uh, May anymore, it's uh, June. And for example, here, what, what we could uh, keep with MEMS, etc. I'm not sure, okay. Okay, we so you need to, sorry? We should probably do a meme about uh, Zoom bombing. <laughs> oh, okay. yes. So how we can do that, zoom bombing, uh, uh, yeah, so what I would be looking for is that uh, basically any article which has uh, embedded uh, uh, open graph, so something like that. Uh, Okay, let's try. So we have a, an article from New York Times uh, and I'm going uh, to do something weird because that's why we have uh, uh, Slack because Slack resolves open graphs. So how I usually test it, something like that. Zoom bombing, well, actually they are boring. Uh, so uh, register. So if you want something uh, on, uh, okay, so I assume that uh, the register has a cool open graph as usual, right? Uh, Zoom bombing attacks Texas. Sounds fun, right? What could pose? Another, another fun, right? Uh, you had one job to register. Okay, uh, so yeah, I think that uh, let's uh, stop. Uh, uh, thank you, that. Uh, okay, I can just uh, delete it in the worst case, right? So let's uh, take this, uh, the register. Uh, oh no, let's, let's take the boring one, right? And yeah, where we have, so we put the link. Uh, and what's the detail uh, zoom bombing on the video conferences go wrong? Uh, uh, okay, so uh, okay, with uh, this ignite talks, we will definitely use all the time, right? But uh, well, Jenkins contributor summit uh, goes wrong. So, and then uh, we create pull request because we'll test preview. Yeah. I think, okay, it's about the name, right? So we create uh, the repository. Uh, currently, I believe it has code owners configured or maybe not. Uh, I believe that uh, at least I was intended uh, to configure them. Let's see, no, I don't. So if you want to join uh, uh, Memkin's copy editors, please let me know. So here, what you can see that we have tweet and you can see that there is a bunch of things uh, triggering and there is preview. 
Uh, it took just uh, one second because everything is cached quite well. And uh, yeah, here's preview, but it uh, doesn't uh, actually embed uh, open graph, so it's not really helpful anyway for this particular use case. Anyway, uh, yeah. So let's assume that somebody reviews it, or, and then we just post it. And yeah, you see that branch was automatically deleted, etc. And then uh, what do we get here? Yeah, it takes some time because uh, after the merge, uh, what happens? Actually, there is another GitHub action being triggered. Uh, it takes a bit longer because it actually needs uh, to connect to Twitter API. So I was a bit optimistic. And here you can see that uh, the results should actually feedback that it was tweeted. So it even uh, puts uh, the status in the text. And you just go to the hyperlink and... And... and Done. So, well, uh, yeah, assuming that you have uh, open graphs, it's nice, uh, and uh, we can automate that. But I think that would be a good engine for things like release announcements, pull request announcements, because GitHub uh, generates uh, actions uh, automatically now. Sorry, open graphs. So if you use uh, GitHub, you can actually do a lot of cool stuff, basically. We could automate the Jenkins releases, uh, especially when GitHub supports open graph uh, for releases. We could uh, highlight key pull requests uh, basically with uh, zero effort. So let's say it uh, just five likes and we automatically generate a pull request uh, for Jenkins releases or for Jenkins CI, which just highlights uh, this tweet, uh, sorry, a pull request. And then we just review it, maybe edit some text and push that. So we can leverage uh, this Twitter as code uh, for a lot of content. We can, uh, for example, automate the tweeting from uh, community Jenkins IO by putting triggers. We could uh, uh, automate tweeting releases of Jenkins plugins uh, in our pipelines. So as an engine, Twitter as code is very promising. And I think that we should uh, actually keep exploring that. And the new accounts I will be creating, for example, for French speaking community, I will be connecting them to Twitter as code right away. And looking for contributors, which is more difficult than automating, as you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will be doing it as well. So yeah, it wasn't exactly a night talk, but I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, you're welcome to try it out. Uh, so it's all open source. That was a live demo that you actually, you know, made an entertaining post from. That's 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 no joke. That, that, that's not the easiest task. All right, live, well, live I, finding I of a meme, all... just like got it. <clears throat> yeah, it was completely unprepared. Stay tuned uh, for my last live demo when I will be creating a tweet in French and prepared. <laughs> this is worse. <laughs> <laughs>